Yo, my people, welcome to the channel. Like, finally, finally, and I, I know, rival fans, either you stay tuned or you're gonna, um, like, <laughs> switch up immediately. You see the badge on the boy's chest there. <laughs> but we, I have a fellow man in suffering in the stool. Like, I'm honored. Got my boy Snalo. Uh, Snalo the Great, as I refer to him. Welcome, bro. Welcome. Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, um, this man pulled up today uh, to the studio holding a Spurs jersey. Fuck off, man. Spurs, my boy. <laughs> I need to go get my jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in protest, bro. Anything can happen. Did this, did, are, 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 we, are we here? Like, are you guys with me here? Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Ah, nah. Well, if he, if he does really do what he's saying, we're going to, of course, cut it out of the edit. Then we'll, make it, we'll, <laughs> we'll make it very nice and he'll have the jersey all of a sudden. Yeah. But, <laughs> but okay. Um, There's a lot to discuss in terms of the pain. But, I mean, if, if you really want to fetch that jersey, bro. I won't stop you. I think there are Chelsea fans that resonate with this feeling that I'm having right now where I everything said about your team discussed. <laughs> I said something, right? We should just change the name of the club, re-edit the badge because Aston Villa's badge is basically our badge now. <laughs> so we should just change the badge, change the name of the club. We can be called something with blue, something blue something. Yeah, put a cat in the logo or something. This, this, this Todd Bowley. Yeah, no, this Todd Bowley <laughs> Chelsea is not the Abramovich one and it's not the one before Abramovich either. Yeah. It's yeah. something else, man. Yeah. It's something else, I, man. I, I do blame the owners mostly. Because you can't yeah. strip a club apart. Strip everything away. Like, Fire everyone. When you say everything. You know, for me, the last straw was Marina Granovskaya and then Peter Cech. Yeah. Once those two are gone, bro, yeah. I realized, okay, here, we're up against something brand new. Mm. Like, we're about to face music we've never heard before kind of vibes, you know? Marina was Chelsea, bro. Yeah. Um, not many people will speak about it because, you know, we're football fans. We focus yeah. on what happens on the on pitch. The pitch yeah. But, like, from the moment she came in, she was Abramovich's secretary. Yeah. And then, you know, that curiosity that makes you just love the club. I want to understand the whole system to the point where Abramovich visits Stamford Bridge. She's in charge, bro. Yeah. And then you let go of that person. Mm. Like, you think you understand the club enough to replace someone like that. Bro, that was like, that's easily 15 years of yeah. her being in charge. Bro. Yeah. I also think yeah. because they have another team, they thought it was going to get like that. You know, yeah, they never also like underestimated. The oh, you strength. mean the other team in football, or you mean Dodgers and those other Dodgers? Yeah. Mm. I I think they yeah. also underestimated the strength of other Premier League teams. Like they mm. were coming to what is considered a um, a European great now. They've yeah. won two Champions Leagues. They've been winning leagues, mm. and they thought even if we do anything we want. It would take a lot to destroy mm. a team that is this great. Yeah, eh? but they oh. also overestimated Chelsea's point. position in world football. Like, mm. I need to be honest as a Chelsea fan. Yeah, we've never been dominant in Europe. The, the word dominant is relevant. Yeah, our two Champions I, Leagues. I can relate. I can relate. Our yeah. two Champions Leagues as we won, we were nowhere near favorites. <laughs> You know, like, so we if you're listing the, the greatest managers of all time, Di Matteo is not even in your mind. Exactly. And that's a Champions League winning he manager. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, so I, I can understand. Like, but the football was shambolic. It was defensive. Mm. It was Simeone on steroids yeah. in 2012. Yeah. And then 2021 was new manager bounce mm. plus other vibes. Mm. Tuko's a great manager. Yeah. He's a good manager, at least for these times. Great is, over, is abused these days. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, like, I, I agree. I agree. They looked at the situation. Thought we can keep control, just invest a bit more. Um, we can do an overhaul to balance the books. I don't know what I don't know what the plan was, bro. Because it doesn't don't work in football. It doesn't make sense. It really does. I made a video about football heritage where, where Mourinho was talking about keeping players from the past, yeah. and that's the the core. You know that that's what build you build around mm. that. You know you don't get rid of everyone. Mm. And that's what you're saying. It's the exact same thing. Like how can we do an Newcastle overhaul? got it right, perfectly. They got it. Right. Absolutely. They even made players perfect. switch positions. Joe Linton, people didn't even know what Joe Linton was Absolutely before. Absolutely perfect. Jo that is how Yo. you change a club. That's how you transition properly. Yeah, you're right. Bro. But, how, but it's the Eddie Howe. They, that's a whole chat, right? But they chose the right manager for it. That's yes. the first right thing they did. Yeah, Have I, we chosen the right manager is the question. I know I know. we're not going to speak about Newcastle and want to go to your Chelsea question. No, 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 shut up. Um, Eddie Howe is good for the transition phase. When it's not one of winning trophies, mm. I think they have to get a new manager. You have to think uh, Zidane levels. You have to think. <laughs> you 
gap beyond Eddie Howe is not going to be dominant. Yeah, he's, he's not that guy. But a winner has to win first. To become a, you know, we call, we, we talk about these serial winner managers. You have to win that first one. What if Eddie Howe's that guy, like, he just needs that first one. Yeah. You mean he got to the Car- Carabao Cup final. If they had won that final, maybe this season would be different for them. Because they're having like a... But they didn't. But they lost. Yeah, they lost. Yeah. No, one, for, no one remembers the... Yeah. <laughs> we were also in the 2008 Champions League final, by the way. Yeah. Terry yeah. slipping up. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. But back so, to Poch. Yeah, no. Um, no. Is he the right guy? Then? Is he the right man? Game week 17. 10th, I, actually. We're let 10th, me, by let the me way. say Pochettino as a manager before Chelsea. Mm. I, I will admit, I thought, okay, no, okay. No, I, I, I hear Chelsea. I think you're making the right decision. Minus PSG also, Poch, no? Yeah, minus PSG, of course. Mm. Poch, with teams that don't have a budget, has been like doing really, really well. And then I looked at the top teams, mm. Tottenham tenure. Yeah, they were, hey. they, they were cooking. Over two years, Poch got the most points and, in the league. You know, like over because, two seasons. Bro. And because they mm. were building a stadium, mm. they didn't invest any, any. He went two mm. transfer windows. Mm. I don't know if it's two or three without a single signing and Tottenham Tottenham was still challenging what if we're sabotaging him by giving him so many signings what if like we're, we're making him like deviate completely from what he actually knows how to build yeah like what if he actually is good at building what he finds and adding academy products and stuff yeah maybe that's what he's because you know the Harry Kane that we adore or people adore as a striker yeah. was a pot product yeah. bro in a way yeah you know so what if we're actually bamboozling him bro like yeah you can buy again in Jan. Mm. You can buy again in the summer. Mm. It's like, obvious it was because bro, this is yeah. a, squ- a squad and a half. We've sold all our midfielders, but we still have a bit too many mid- uh, defenders. Maybe yeah. too many defenders, bro. Like midfield, we don't even know as the best trio still. Mm. You know, so first season, yeah, maybe we give him time. But midfield, I think I know, that's yeah. where we made most mistakes. In yeah, in this, the this window. In, yeah. in that, like, we didn't get every profile that we needed, mm. um, and also. It's always not gonna go well when there isn't um, alignment in the philosophy of the manager mm. and the signings that you need. The mm. Chelsea board currently looks like they are just checking okay who are some of the best youngsters and just buying without mm. considering is this profile Yo. gonna fit into <laughs> this team? Bro. What is this guy gonna do in this team? That does for it me make sense? Is the most scary way of doing football business. Yeah. What you just said, mm. like you're pulling on strings. Mm. Like, okay, this is a nice player to watch. Yeah. But you have no idea if this player fits your system. You, you're, you're just going on, like, why did we get Modric? We mm. bought him because Arsenal were going to buy him. Exactly. Th- that's why we bought him, I think. But did uh, we even have a plan for Enzo? Or did we just buy him because he was the hottest property at mm. the time? And, like, if it's not us, it's going to be some other European giant, so we have to be the first ones. And how many clubs did that to us, to be honest? Because... We got Caicedo because Brighton were holding out for the Chelsea bid. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. they looked at Liverpool one team, Arsenal one team, mm. but we know the guys who have the money. Yeah. Let's wait for them to just... And lie. They're, they're, they're desperate. Yeah. Oh. They're desperate. They can even go further and buy Lazio. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. No, it's a, it's a crazy time, man. It's okay. Cra- I, 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 this man pulled how do up we, with a Spurs jersey. <laughs> how do we recover? How do we recover? Okay, before recovery, might we battle relegation this season? If we're going to speak about recovery, do you think we might battle relegation? I've been jokingly saying that we're going to go into a relegation battle. <laughs> I remember one of your other guests, Nisiri Zim, mm, once himself. sent a video uh, about how to how to fight relegation. I was like, Pochettino, <laughs> Pochettino probably needs to watch this video. Because... No, Porsche needs to watch this channel. With the form, no, because honestly, Porsche needs to hear us out. With the form, like, with the form Chelsea is on, mm-hmm. I don't think it's far fetched to see them 16th, 17th at some point in the season. I don't think they'll stay there. I think they may like just come up mm-hmm. towards 13, 12. Mm-hmm. But you know, my it's issue, a genuine possibility. Each game week that passes, there's at least one team that looks better than us. Yeah. So I started the season like, oh, bro, at least seven teams that look better than Chelsea. Mm. So we might finish eighth, mm. right? And then it became eighth, bro. Mm. And then nine. Going up. And then Bournemouth get a bit better. Mm. And then Everton now in form. Mm. Like, head, like, right now, as we sit, bro, there are at least 12 teams, I think, that are better, yeah, than, better Chelsea. than Chelsea. Like, they have more of a plan on the field. Like, when they start a game, <sighs> ne, 
they know that we're going to do this to try and win this game. <laughs> we, we burnt it at, at White Hart Lane there. Yeah. Bro, okay, no, recovery. Recovery means yes, we're accepting that it's, it's, a, it's a positive. And I'm, I've also accepted we might battle relegation this season. Like, we might flirt with 17 <laughs> between, like, December is a tough period. Like, you think about the confidence factor. That's my issue with this young, young team. You can't find confidence in just Thiago Silva as a senior and Raheem Sterling yeah. for his experience in attack or whatever. If these guys lose, like we lost to Newcastle, you can see the effects. Then you lose to Everton. Mm. It's because it's like, these guys are young. But when the confidence is shattered, it's yeah. shattered. It takes there's time no experience. There's no, yeah, there's no fuel. Like, hey, no, but we are winners. There's nothing to look back on. Yeah. Like, but we... Because <laughs> they've been, they've been nonsense since they got to the club. <laughs> That, that I've been reluctant to say, you know, I, I've been trying to avoid the word pathetic mm. for weeks. Like, I don't want to say we are pathetic. I don't want to say. But against Sheffield, we were so boring in the first half. Boring, boring. Like, base was sleeping. Mm. We, we fell asleep watching the game. Like, it was horrible. Like, we're waiting for Cole Palmer to do. We're waiting for a Man City prospect. A player that Man City could do without. This hurts me. To, to cook something for us so we can at least get something in the final 18. Like, that, that's where we're at. Like, um, this is probably the most sorrowful Chelsea the fact, fans video the people fact are going to find. Palmer is arguably our best player. It's, it's terrible. It's terrible. Like, I, I can't believe it's, it. Eh? It's a like, City Academy boy yeah. that couldn't even get into the City team. Goes and becomes our best player. <laughs> yeah. The most effective player in the setup right now. The most lethal player, you could say. Like, <laughs> we spent a billion since Todd Bowley bought the club. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Yeah, no, like, you know, investment I must have a turnover. I've been patient, man. I've been pa- I'm, I'm still, still, we have to be, eh? Unless it's you're going to pull, put on that Spurs jersey real it's quick. Embarrassing. Eh? It's embarrassing. No, to it's spend fair. a billion. Mm. No, like, we're the joke of the town. Joke of the world. Spend yeah, a billion <laughs> and look like this. Yeah, no, it's you can't even engage in debates about in any business model with confidence yeah. against rivals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in any business model, this is pathetic. Eh? Like you can't spend that much and get worse. Mm. You can't invest that much and get worse. Yeah. Like, but um, to try and be positive, uh, in the cups, anything is possible. Uh, <laughs> right? Uh, in the cups, yeah. we don't have European football. Uh, again, so that's not our first time experiencing that. We, 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 we've We've gone through seasons as European champions that <laughs> don't really have getting knocked out in the group stages, and then wow, oh, the champions are finishing tenth. But at least we won the league. We did actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chelsea, Chelsea that's a beautiful history. Like Abramovich was beautiful times. <laughs> but yeah, no Carabao Cup. I'm confident personally. Um, I feel we can knock out Newcastle on Tuesday, um, but we need to have the right setup. Poch, my issue with Poch is he doesn't know his best eleven yet, but it's Maybe game he week. Does. His best 11. Yeah. This guy will rotate Enzo back into the team. Rotate him out. To be fair, it only, Gallagher will it play only 10. happened in the last game. But I think he's been fairly... Ex- okay, except the back line. He's been fairly consistent the about who he's going to select yeah. um, like in the team. Yeah. Um, with Enzo Caicedo 6, Gallagher 10, Cole Palmer right, Sterling left, Jackson. Yeah, nine. but mudrick has been getting a f- uh, more minutes now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Though mm-hmm. I don't know why, but... I think he wants Mudrik to develop, bro. Mm. Um, I'm hoping we can win against Newcastle for confidence sake. Uh, in, in the league, if I'm correct, I missed them as Wolves. Mm. I think that's a tricky game. Um, the next few games are winnable in the league. I think there's uh, Luton again. Yeah. We beat Luton at our worst, mm. but, but they're much better now. So it might be a tricky game. Mm. Um, but if Poch gets us a Carabao Cup, gets us a FA Cup final and we finish... Around the same league position, is he forgiven to an extent for this? Twelfth, tenth, tenth. I we are tenth right now. I I think that um, climbing up the league mm. is more valuable than the Carabao Cup. Yeah, being high in the league. Yeah, at least so, w- at least we're in the league. Would you say? Yeah. Would you put that? I the least that I would really would really want to was sixth. Europa. Yeah, sixth. But that is it's far fetched. No, it's, yeah. uh, it seems like yeah, and it's sad. It's if, sad. We, if we go like as per hierarchy, Arsenal are better than us this season. Mm-hmm. Liverpool, Man City, Villa, 
Brighton. Brighton are better, that's five. Um, easily. To some, Fulham. I, think I was about to say them, but I'm like, Fulham are we really going to say the team down the road are better Fulham. than us? Fulham. Fulham is I think Brentford are also better than us this season. Mm. To be honest, I think Brentford have more edge. They have more fight in them mm. to... That's already seven and, teams. And with what Everton is doing. Yeah, I know. Ev- you know Everton have won five on the bounce without conceding. Without conceding. <laughs> I mean, in, in terms of form, something. yes, Everton could be there. But I think overall season, maybe we're on par. But they had a 10-point deduction. And they would be above us without it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, is, what kind of season are we talking about here? Season That's we I, I, I don't think we finished top 10. Um, we're yeah, tenth, not, we're not tenth that, right now. Now that we now. evaluated, it's almost we're tenth right now. But I don't think we finished top ten. We would have to somehow start beating top six teams away from home mm. by some miracle. I guess the big teams would have been good, though. I think. Okay, we don't know what Nkunku is going to do. We're hoping for the best. Yeah, we're hoping for the best, but that's just hope. So it isn't. <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> It isn't logical hey, to say, yeah, no, yeah. we're just going to pick up. That's I think true, what's yeah. what's worrying is yeah. there's nothing promising. Mm. There's nothing that says, okay, no, we're getting better. We're not. We're yeah. actually getting worse. Yeah, so there's no like reason. It. There's no reason. It's not logical to be optimistic about, you know, the boys picking up form at mm. some point. I did that the whole of last yeah. season. Watching every game, we're like, nah. It's like, it's... It can't get worse than this, but somehow it, <laughs> it, it somehow did. It somehow keeps g- yeah. getting worse, you know. So there's there's mm. l- really nothing there that you can look at and say, okay, no, this is something to be hopeful about. Right now, it's just Nkunku, and that's based on what he did in the Bundesliga, and mm. we know players that history. have come from there so we far know for our us. History mm. with Bundesliga players. Have so fair enough. It's it's really worrying. It's really worrying because, I mean, initially it was. Now nah, we're just not putting chances away, at least, yeah, you know, because yeah. um, we were creative. Should, yeah, we, should were. we should we start finishing our chances? We're gonna become a killer team. <laughs> but now even not, those chances we're coming, not making. <laughs> you know, and there's not there. in every second. We get worse in every second half. Yeah. I don't know if you've noticed. Like we come out worse. Mm. Like Poch's words. That's I don't know Poch. if he's failing. That's on Poch. Well, he's not saying the right things, bro. That's on Poch. He's failing us there. That's on For Poch. the first time, but it's Sheffield. And I'm not going to come here and talk about Sheffield like, it, wow. For the first time, we came out better. Mm. Right? And that's when we scored. We scored both goals in the second half. Second half yesterday. Yeah. Doesn't mean anything already. Mm. Because of the team it was. No disrespect, but they're bottom of the table. If we can keep doing it now. Wolves, big challenge. Uh, I think after that is Luton. Mm. Those two games. Let's come out second half. If we go into the, like the half with the lead, great. But I want us to play better, to ending the game. Chelsea better. players can't handle that, bro. They can't win the games that they're expected to win, and that's we're why we're challenging in games where people will think we're the underdog. That's and like, that that oh. shows the inexperience of the team. That it's mm-hmm. a young team who can like who only pick themselves up. For, it's like, easy to frustrate for them massive also, games. Yeah. I think they they like being underdogs. Suits them, suits them really well. I mean, also the style of play because yeah. big teams are stubborn about wanting to press high. About yeah, the high line out. as well. Yeah. And Chelsea need space to operate, right? They um, get that in, a, in games teams that well, they're yeah. expected to win against. <laughs> they're not going to deliver. In terms of results, I've been mentioning it on the channel. There's the w- two 0 Brentford at Stamford Bridge this season. One 0 at Villa. At Stamford Bridge this season. Um, there was another L, Nottingham Forest, 1 0, Stamford Bridge this season. So, your point is justified, bro. Like, how do we put away the teams that have low block mentality, yeah. defensive setups? Sheffield was the first one, but it's Sheffield. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, it's the, only, it's the only thing that's not convincing. But, like, we can get better. We can get better. I think Posh needs to show us now, like, game by game, that he... <laughs> but this manager was said that he can work with young players, bro. Mm. This, is, this is a young team. Yeah, it's a young team. Why, why, why. But also, he... He set, his, he set himself up. Remember <laughs> pre-seasons, when I was talking about yeah. our, our target was to win the league. <laughs> with Chelsea, we have to challenge. <laughs> we have to challenge. Do you remember... Remember no, one of that tour? Not even like uh, a month ago. Hmm. 
per se, like approximately. He said the same thing. I know we're, we're here to challenge. We're here to try and. It's like you need to realize where we are. <laughs> and then maybe, maybe you'll start making the right decisions. Yo, Pudge. Pudge, Pudge, Pudge is not a delusional manager. The moments where I've called um, Eric Ten Hag delusional, you know, where you just you put a player that doesn't make sense for that system and whatever. whatever. Pudge plays players where they need to be played and, you know, he doesn't try funny things that are off the mark. Yeah. You know, um, the most weird thing I think that he's done since he came in is when he played the first year guys last mm. year. Uh, some games you need that. I've seen maybe we need it. Uh, Reese's injuries also. Mm. But he needs to show us that game by game he can actually make young players better. Yeah. It's not doing what he what his main C V point is for me, bro. Mm. Like Mudrik is not getting better. He's not. Jackson is not getting better, bro. Mm. Jackson. It's game week. We're gonna like when we play Wolves, that's game week eighteen, Jackson. which means the following game is halfway through the yeah. season, bro. Bro, bro is not great. Yeah, but bro, and injuries also. Like, I don't even count, bro. You know, like the players I don't even mention in conversations. Give him a chance. He played against Sheffield. Yeah, yeah. But he hasn't gotten a run of games. What's the reason to keep starting Nicholas Jackson? Yeah. Jackson gets that odd goal. That's the issue now. Yeah. Even a broken clock? Yeah. You're right. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Yo, play, bro, our players, bro. We're juggling. Right now, we're juggling to see what's the best option. Yeah. Like, you know, that, that it, it's a crazy time. Um, But uh, Newcastle. Um, okay. I wanted us to just chat a bit about it. Um, I think the lineups won't be that. Comp- we probably do the same thing we did against um, Sheffield. We played a back four of CBs. Um, this man wasn't able to watch the game. Busy man. Um, but it was Colwell, Badia Shio, Thiago Silva, Desas. Mm. That was the back line. Um, Gusto just came back from injury. Yeah. So I think that and Reese, of course, you know, yeah, Reese. Reese. So right back, I'm sure that's why Desas was deployed. I want to see Kunku start, bro. Like, I know it, it might not be ready or whatever, but he played against Newcastle in preseason. Yeah. I think he was effective in the game. Of course, Newcastle's different. They have a lot of injuries, though, so they might rotate. Um, but I think we should start with Kunku. Just even if he comes off halftime, 60th minute. I really think. I think he, he bags a brace if he I starts. I think. I think he comes on as a sub. I don't think. For Jackson, starts. I'm tired of Jackson starting yeah. or Broya. Yeah, it's it's probably gonna be. Oh, yeah, starting. Because, mm-hmm. I mean... Oh, for Jackson. Jackson did start uh, yesterday. It's yeah. the cup. However, I think the rest of the 11 looks like what is our strongest 11. Because he knows that he needs to win the cup. So, he he's, to, yeah. he's really not... At minimum, he needs to make I, the final. I really I really need that. I, I need to see that as well. I yeah. need to see that well, you're, you're under pressure. Mm. Like, start what you really believe is your best team. Because we need... We need at least something that's yeah. gonna give us like some team spirit. Newcastle embarrassed positive. us in the league, bro. We need to yeah. make a statement against yeah. Newcastle. Yeah, yeah. but I also yeah. think Newcastle doesn't rotate that much as well. Also, they have so many injuries right now. They, I don't think they can. Yeah, they probably they're probably gonna start that young boy they've been playing. Uh, Miley. Lewis Miley. Mm. He scored yesterday. Yeah, he scored. Oh, yeah. They they took our Lewis, bro, but they have their own Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> and our Lewis is rotting on the bench. Ah, yeah, no, Lewis is suffering there. A lot of our lone players are suffering this season, but hey, that's another, that's another chat. But I think we win the game, bro. I think we win it a bit convincingly. Like I think we should possess the ball. Hey, also, I wanted to ask you about Madweki, bro. Like, what are your thoughts on Madweki? Like, do you think he's just not good enough? Why is Posh like sidelining the boy this much? I think the k- the game that he started this season is terrible. But, like, you, you're going to tell me the anger is that, like, the disappointment from the manager is that immense that you don't... Bro, Madwiki gets, like, he's, like, a game-time-eating player now. So, who, like, who who does who does he come in for? He's like right wing, bro. Like, you Sterling is 29. So I, I, Palmer. Cole Palmer can, is now taking the camp position, in my opinion. Like, Cole Palmer should start to develop himself as a camp. Because even in the under-21 setup for England, he played the camp. Madwegi played the right wing. Yeah. So I was thinking they could keep that chemistry mm. and bring it to Chelsea. Mm. That was my idea. Then Sterling can keep driving and, and Mad- like Mudrik's not good enough yet for me. Yeah, he's not. That, so I don't consider him in the first team setup. I considered Madwegi in the first team setup. Bro, I like think Mudrik is not even good enough for that role. Like he must go back. <laughs> he's not a good player. Give him time. Give him time. <laughs> yeah. Mudrik is not a good player, bro. 
come for me. My sort of fans. Was proof. My sort of fans are gonna be like, if he, but if if he joined us, just if he had just joined us, you guys would have been leaving Rafa on the bench with Alison as well. Mudrik is not a good player. <laughs> We're signing nonsense. <laughs> Mudrik Jackson, not nonsense. <laughs> but hey, man, what can you say? What can you Yo. say? No, no, no. Okay, but just give me your predictions there for the Newcastle game. I think we can. Um, we can we can leave them be. I, it's been an honor. I am saying <sighs> it's a tough one because consider what Newcastle did to us. They lost someone in there. Hey, but uh, they don't have Joe Linton. Joe Linton's the one who terrorized us, I think, yeah. the most. But, but he's injured. Who else don't they have? Yeah. Isaac's not there either. And they have Callum Wilson back. One.